what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we have a new update and as you can see here this is ios 13.6 and this is the gm build or the golden master build so this is the official version that will come out to the public eventually very soon hopefully and if i go into my settings of my iphone x that i'm using here so if i go into settings here and then go to where it says software update you can see that i have ios 13.6 and this is like the official version Version. that's why you don't see beta 1 or beta 2 or beta 3 this is the golden master version and for me it comes in at around 3.38 gig so that's quite a big chunk and the reason for that is because I'm going from iOS 13.6 beta 3 to iOS 13.6 the official version or the gold master version so this is the condition of my device before the update if I go to the about section and see the software version that I have there you can see that I have 17 G 5059 C so I had a C at the end with beta 3 and if we scroll down a little bit we can see that the modem uh, firmware version that I have here is 3.05.00 before the update and the available storage that I have here is 34 point four six gigabit so i know there's a big issue that has been going on with ios 14 taking over 10 to 15 gigs of storage so I, from now on i just make sure that i check my available storage and if we go back and go to the about section of this iphone we can see that you know systems if we go to iphone storage it just takes a little while to load but this time around it was fast and we can see that system for me before the update is taking up 6.38 gigs so let's quickly update to this uh, ios 13.6 gm and see how much storage it takes and yeah i'll make a video about that and yeah let's quickly update and then we see the major changes and features that came with this update all right guys so our device is now updated to ios 13.6 the gm version and if we go into settings and go to software update you can see that it says your device is up to date so no software update is available since we've updated and if we go to the about section you can see we have ios 13.6 and the build number that comes with this software update is 17g68 the previous build number has sc at the end indicating that it's a beta but this one has a 68 and no letter at the end indicating that this is the final version and the final build for ios 13.6 and if we scroll down to see the modem firmware we can see that the modem firmware we have hasn't changed we still have 3.05.00 so if you're facing issues with regards to wi-fi cell bluetooth and any other wireless connections those issues might actually remain unchanged and and if we look at the storage that I have available now, you can see that I have 34.17 gig. And before that, I had 34.32. So I lost slightly over 150 megabytes, but that's not too bad. And if we go back to see the about section of this mark where uh, the iPhone storage is and click there and scroll all the way down to where we have system storage, you can see that the system is taking up 6.52 gigs now before that system was taking up 6.38 gigs so that's an increase of about 250 megabytes but it's not too bad as you can see it's still within the ranges of around 6 gigs and so on so that's not too bad although it came up with a little bit of an increase when it comes to system storage so that explains why i lost a little bit of storage in the storage that i had before the update as you can see see here so now let's look at my battery percentage after updating so if we go to the battery section here and go to battery health you can see that my battery health hasn't changed it actually remains on 88 percent so that's good it hasn't changed in a while and yeah that's mainly the software changes that came with this update now let's look at the new features that came with this update this is 13.6 gm and it's the official version that is going to come out to the public very soon so the first major feature that came with this update and it was also mentioned in the notes for the update 
is khaki so khaki is now available for ios 13.6 and the way you basically use khaki is by going into your wallet so if you use a wallet you can easily go open your wallet and then the way you add a new car and be able to use your phone as a key you click the add option there and then you can basically scan the card or whatever you have i know that bmw has already started to make 2020 versions of the bmw that supports this car key feature and it's good to see that you know it's now available on ios 13.6 what i wish they could add when it comes to car you know how you have like tesla that uses a card to unlock it will be actually sick if you could just scan your card and instead of just being limited to bmw or 2020 cars and beyond if this feature could be supported by other cars that would actually be a good feature so that's basically the main and major change that came with this update another change that we had before is if you go into general and then you go to software update you can see that you are able to customize your software updates by clicking there and you now have the ability to uh, switch on automatic downloads and if you enable this you can see that you can download the updates but not install them so this is something that came with 13.6 and we started to see this with beta 2 and yeah that's one of the main thing also that changed with this update so also within the health app if you use the health app you have a section that is called symptoms so if you go to the browse section and you go to where it says symptoms right there you can see that you have a whole bunch of symptoms that you have so if you are experiencing certain symptoms you can input the data let's say for example mood changes you can input you know when it started how it started and how you're feeling and you can always share this information with your doctor and it's always up to you with regards to what information you share and want others to see by the way with regards to khaki there's now a new power preservative mode that basically uh, runs when your device shuts down and that runs for about five hours when your device is out of battery and the reason for that is to basically allow you to be able to unlock your car even if your device is flat so that's something new you can see that but it's something that's embedded in the software and is working with ios 13.6 now if you use apple news you notice that you know apple news has received a little bit of an update so i don't use apple news but it now has the ability to read to you certain sections depending on your subscription so it's a paid subscription and it's like ten dollars per month or something like that so yeah if you do use apple news there's a new feature that came with this and also the music app here has received a little bit of an update there's more features available and i think you are able to share stories to instagram and to certain social media and you can also share portions of a song using this apple music app but i don't use that i use spotify so yeah if you do just know that there's a little bit of uh, an upgrade with regards to the apple music app now with this update there were also some other improvements that came with it and the first one has to do with security updates now on the apple site that was actually not mentioned apple didn't mention much when it comes to it but yeah it has a little bit of security updates running in the background comparing it with the previous model and also it has a little bit of stability improvements when it comes to like the iphone 6s and other iphones like 7 so if you were having crashes and also stability issues with those other iPhones that has been addressed and hopefully all the devices run better with this iOS 13.6 other issues that have been mentioned that were addressed with this update it has to do with app crashes so if you're using certain apps and you notice that you know they were a bit buggy and were crashing from time to time those have been addressed across all devices from the 6s all the way to the 11 pro max and also if you were having problems with synchronization let's say for example when it comes to icloud or other cloud services that has also been fixed when it comes to this update and if you use wi-fi calling for your calls and you are experiencing issues when it comes to connectivity or your device would simply just drop network that has also been addressed and if if you use eSIM for calling you know how you have a 
physical sim card that basically goes in here and if you use the eSIM mode and you're having issues when it comes to cell and connection that has also been addressed so i did run geekbench scores on this iphone x shortly after updating and yeah let me share with you my experience so far i have to mention that this device did heat up quite high and the temperature did rise so uh, that might affect performance and if we go into geekbench 5 scores which i did and go to the history you can see that for CPU this is today around 2234 and you can see that for single core I got a very low score it's 602 and for multi core I got 1244 so if we go back and see what I had on 13.6 beta 3 uh, you can see that for single core I had 907 and for multi core 2427 so you can see that my performance on this iPhone X has dropped more than double and I guess the reason for that was that you know my device temperature did rise and that affects performance i'm curious to see how a follow-up video for this update will be whether it continues to have such a low score because this is really not good this is like iphone 8 territory so it's quite very low for an iphone x to have this score so hopefully it's not a bug that came with this update and also if we go back to the compute or gpu performance this is the graphics rendering and 3d image rendering you can see that with uh, this update ios 13.6 gm i got a score of 3105 and on 13.6 beta 3 i had 4157 so you can see that with this update you know my performance both cpu and gpu wise has been very low and yeah hopefully it's something that can be fixed over time so I am curious and going to do a follow-up video after like two or three days just to see how my device keeps up whether it continues to give me like very low performance or it improves over time and also when it comes to battery life that I will have to use this device for some time so that I can be able to tell but overall with iOS 13.6 beta 3 I had no issues if you look at the screen on time that I had basically with um, beta 3 you can see that you know i had about 10 hours and 34 minutes screen on time with a uh, one hour 49 minutes so i was quite good when it comes to battery performance on beta 3 and hopefully after two or three days when i test this um, 13.6 gm version it also continues to be great so basically that's about it for me when it comes to ios 13.6 the gm build if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next upload peace